Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take you longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 422, Nasdaq's up 83, S&P's up 32, gold. Gold contract trading up 270 at 1679.30. You got the silver market up 8 cents, $20.86. Light sweet crude down 77 cents, $91.84 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 11 ticks trading 109.22. The 30 year off 28 at 118.18 in King Dollar. King dollar's down 770 ticks, trading at 110.101. The euro is out here at a price point of 1 to 1. The, the yen is 146, and the British pound is 115 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, well, I just did the update. You know, we have some divergence, so... That's we're going to speculate as to what we have happening here right now. So, the S&P, the SPY, it's holding price. You have it, uh, bottom line, you're up $3 right now on the SPY. You get 44 million shares. You know, as I said, Friday did 103. You know, I, I can see a slowdown, meaning building cars. But when you build cars, folks, you go sideways. This market's going higher. So I suspect if we hold, if we do hold 378.87, where we, you're 75 cents over that right now, that is still saying that you're going to go, you're going to continue going higher. The volume is going to pick up. That's the real bottom line. But you know, if you hold price, we'll go higher, and it's going to try to get through this downdraft of that uh, on Tuesday. You know, uh, but Tuesday did when we came down Tuesday. It came down with 126 million, but the bottom line is you were going to 133. So that still held. Now we go to the NDX, NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs, three Qs, same type of setup, meaning that you know you get a monster contraction out here today, but it looks like it's going to hold price. 266.61 is the number. So in this particular case, you know, bottom line, you're about 55 cents over the point where it has to hold. It holds there, then you're going to start going right into this baby. Gold. We go to look at the gold contract. We had out here in the gold contract last week. You know, this, this is a classic. Let's go through this for a second because this is don't, no doubt a classic. And what I have seen, and this is where, you know, when you're basically in the markets in general, okay, you, you, there's certain points that are like, wow, did this make it? Is it going to make it? And Gold, man, <laughs> I mean, it did what it should have did, but watch this. This is just amazing. So your first low was established at six, $1,672, no, $1,622.20. That had 280,000 contracts traded. We come down and tested, and we got to a price point of 1621.10. So you rejected the low, and you did 271 million. So that's 271 versus the 280, right? Then we came down again. We came down to 16.1830, rejected it, and had 255,000 contracts. So 255, 271, 280. And it, so it held. The bottom line, it held, man. I mean, it didn't jump over the cliff. And then what ends up happening? Bob, boom. Friday comes in with 294,000 contracts. Now, that level there, okay, you can do, when you do these channel lines, it's just, it's just the same way as the dollar on the way up. And when you see this, it's crazy, man. It's like, it didn't hit the whole thing on the way down, but it got awful close. This gold contract, my take, now wants to run up into this 1824 area. So, now let's get over to the dollar, because the dollar is what it's all about, folks. And the dollar, bottom line, came up to the underside of its trend line and had an immediate failure. I mean, this was amazing, actually. And what's cool about these channel lines in general, the channel line rather than a trend, 
the, the bottom line, you knew what the channel line was. Now, this is the channel line was 113, 152. Well, we went to 113, 148, okay? Into the thousands of one. Think about that. That's just so cool. It's unbelievable. Then what ends up happening? Ba boom, it falls apart. So, your first place you're going to watch is that low that we had established out there about two weeks ago, which is the 110, 109, 535. But, you know, this is a break of a longer term trend. And the beginning of that trend is 104, 936. So that say to me that that is exactly where that baby wants to get down to into that area. Now, here's where the divergence is. So the way that the dollar is set up and the way that we did hold price inside the S&Ps, inside the metals, that's telling me the market wants to go higher. So when we have the divergence that today we have very light volume in the SPIs, and the S&P, let's go to the indices. So the indices, 533. Yeah, see, the, the, and we have, we have really light volume in the indices. That has to work our way out. That's the real bottom line. That, we have to work that out. Uh, being a bull, if you're a bull right now, you do want this to hold price. So it have a following day to see if, in fact, it can get up into higher price. That's, that's how the shakes are. I want to thank our uh, man, Basil Chapman, Larry, to do all my shows. I had a blast, folks. The bottom line is that went up to Boston, uh, 247th birthday of the Marine Corps. And uh, so in Boston, in South Boston, here, here's the number in South Boston. The last 51 years, 02127 have sent more Marines into the Marine Corps than anyone in the whole country. 52 years. Bottom line, we started a, a birthday 35 years ago. There was 30 of us, right? Do you know how many Marines were there? 1,900 Marines. It's the biggest Marine birthday probably in the whole country. We had the assistant commandant there. Got to see all my friends. Awesome time. So thanks, Larry. Thanks, Basil. Really appreciate it, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrial's up 452. Oh, and the Marine Corps birthday is November 10th, folks, okay? Uh, but, you know, bottom line, you know, you, you got to do it before or afterwards because on the birthday, you know, there's not as many Marines that can make it because they want to be in their own communities for that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <music>